So I wanted to show you my material setup for the next project that we're going to be working on. I've got some paint, I've got gel gloss and a palette knife, I have a couple of brushes, water, paper towels, a rag, a spray bottle of water, and that's about it, I think, and, and one scraper. What we're going to be doing is I'm going to be working on this flux and obliteration piece I started in the previous module. I'm hoping to finish it. And the point of me doing that for you is going to be to show you how to create contrast with marks. That's going to be the point of my finishing this. And I'm going to try and finish it in such a way that that lesson really hits home. So this is where we left this painting at the end of the flux and obliteration exercise. And what I'm going to do now is, as I said a minute ago, try and finish it being mindful of using marks to create, to create contrast and to enliven this painting. So I think um, the way I'll start is maybe in a way that's not entirely characteristic for me, but I'm going to put some little areas of color on there. And I'm not talking about intense color. I mean just a little, like a little bit of gray someplace, grayer. And you can see that this mark is showing through. And I'm just going to like create a few areas of some subtle color. That's why I'm going to start this one out today. And I have a little cobalt blue here that I'm going to mix with white. You can't really see me doing that, but that's okay. I want to make like a kind of a gray blue. Just and have a, just a little bit of it. I'm going to take some off my brush because I don't want it too thick. I just want the suggestion of it. And that may disappear later. And I might take uh, this paper towel I have in my hand with some water and kind of rub this off because it's a little too intense for my taste. And maybe I'll rub it in a different area. And we'll, we'll just rub a little bit more on someplace. And I'm just doing this randomly and intuitively. I don't know where this is going to go, ultimately. And since it's a really hot day, this is probably going to dry quickly. Now I'm going to do a little bit more veiling with white. And I'm going to take one of my two-inch cut-off brushes, which is really great for laying on veils. I've got some matte medium over here. We're going to mix in with the white. And just a tiny bit of gray, just to take away the, from the stark whiteness. And let's see. I'm going to go over this area. I might take my scraper and kind of just scrape over it, which helps expose these lines again, but in a slightly layered way. Let's see, I'm feeling some white in this area. up in here. And I'm just doing this sort of, I'm feeling my way across this surface. And I dipped my scraper in water then because I was hoping to get some drips to come down that way. I'm going to go in with a little more white mixed with this gray that I have. My gray is a little dark, so I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. And just go in, I think, here and here. scrape over what I put on, because I like how it drags over the lines. Now we're going to go back in with some drawing tools. I've got my Taylor's chalk that I'm going to dip in water and make that mark, and maybe a curved mark over there. And because I don't really want the Taylor's chalk to be all smeary, on my next round, I'm going to put some gel gloss over it which will help stabilize it. It also creates nice effects, which I can smear over the rest of the paper.
And now I'm going to stop for a few minutes because I want this to dry before I continue onward.